Hi, I'm Bob. Let's learn Chapter Fifteen, Multinomial Models, and do the exercises at the end of this chapter. When the dependent variable is a categorical variable, we use multinomial models. Categorical data are data on a dependent variable. They can fall into one of several mutually exclusive categories. Examples include different. Categories of self-assessed health status: excellent, good, fair, or poor, and different categories of marital structures: married, single, divorced, or separated. In this chapter, we use an example of the choice of fishing mode. An individual. Chose to fish using one of four possible modes: from the beach, from the pier, from a private boat, or from a charter boat. Thus, the dependent variable fishing mode has four categories. For the explanatory variables, there are case-specific regressions. And alternative specific regressors. Some regressors, such as gender, do not vary across alternatives, and are called case-specific or alternative invariant regressors. Other regressors, such as price, may vary across alternatives, and are called alternative specific. Or case varying regressors. In our fishing mode example, the dependent variable is the fishing mode, which is a categorical variable. One of the explanatory variables, income, is a case specific regressor. And the other two explanatory variables, price and catching rate, are alternative specific regressors. Let's take a look at the data. For example, the individual ID two chose the fishing mode from a chapter boat. Her income is fixed among all the fishing mode choices, while the price of fishing differs between different choices, and it is called alternative specific regressor. Let's do the exercises. As usual, we are using the cd command to go to the folder you would like to store your files, and we use the log command to record the codes you write and the estimation results. In the first question, we will compare the results from a multinomial logic model to the results from an ordered. Logic model. We use the same dataset as in the textbook. The original dataset is a panel, but we only use the cross-sectional data, so we keep the data for only year two. The following is an example to generate a categorical variable from dummy variables. The health status has three categories. One means poor or fair. Two is good. Three means excellent. The explanatory variables are the age, the log income, and the number of chronic diseases. We run an ordered probit model first. The regressors are highly statistically significant. The threshold parameters appear to be significantly different from each other, so the three categories should not be collapsed into two categories. We use the estimate store command to store the results. Then we look at the marginal effects at sample means. 
the marginal effect of each of the explanatory variables on the third category of the outcome. The probability of excellent health status decreases with age and the number of diseases, and the probability of excellent health increases with income. We can store the marginal effects in a matrix. Then we run an ordered logic model and it gives similar results for the marginal effects as sample means. Since we want to compare the results to the multinomial logic model, we run the multinomial logic model and store the marginal effects in the matrix. Then we use the matrix list command to list the marginal effects. A noticeable difference is the marginal effect of the income on the probability of excellent health. Between the order logic model and the multinomial logic model, since we have already stored the results of each model, we can use the estimates table command to show the statistics of the model. Using the Bayesian information criterion, BIC, the order logic model is preferred. In question two, we are comparing a conditional logic model and a multinomial probit model. We construct the dependent variable with three fishing choices by dropping one of the fishing modes. Let's look at the data. Each individual has three choices of fishing mode. P is the price of fishing mode. It's different for each alternative, so it is alternative-specific regressor. Q is the catch rate for each fishing mode, which is a measure of the quality of each fishing mode. It's also alternative specific regressor since it's different for each mode. Income variable is case specific because it's unchanged for each individual. It varies across different individuals. We run the alternative specific conditional logic model first. And store the results using the estimate store command. The marginal effects are computed by using the post estimation STAT MFX command. A $10 increase in the price of private boat fishing decreases the probability of private boat fishing by 6.4%. A one unit increase in the catch rate from private boat fishing increases the probability of private boat fishing by 26.5%. A 1,000 increase in monthly income increases the probability of private boat fishing by 1.8%. We can also calculate the number of correct predictions. 
among the 730 choices, 445 are correctly predicted by the model. Next, we run a multinomial probit model for the same data set. For the 730 choices, 438 were correctly predicted, which is smaller than that from a conditional logic model. We can also use the estimates table command to take a look the statistics of the models. By the Bayesian information criterion, the conditional logic model is also preferred. In question 4, we run an ordered probit model. We construct the categorical dependent variable the health status first. We use the oprobit command to run the ordered probit model. The latent health status variable is increasing in income and decreasing with age and number of chronic diseases. The regressors are highly statistically significant. We use the margins command after the ordered probit model to calculate the marginal effects. The option at means specifies the marginal effects as sample means. The option predict outcome specifies on which outcome is the marginal effect. Here is for the third outcome, the excellent health status. One more year of age decreases the probability of excellent health by 0.68%. And 100% increase in income increases the probability of excellent health by 6.6%. Suffering from one more chronic disease decreased the probability of excellent health by 1.3%. The above is how different explanatory variables affect the third outcome. We can also take a look how a certain explanatory variable, such as the age, affects different outcomes. 10 more years of ages increase the probability of poor health by 2.4%. It also increases the probability of good health by 4.4%. 10 more years of ages decreases the probability of excellent health by 6.8%. We can also run an um, ordered logic model, as in the test book. We obtain similar marginal effects. Using the estimates table, we can compare the statistics of the models, which are also very close to each other. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. Goodbye.